First, there was the episode with Mr. Walfish's toque in the eaves trough. And we mustn't forget the visiting lieutenant you deep down and accosted on the tarmac. You understand a word this hoser's saying, Saint Bob? How the hell did she get to be principal when she don't even speak good or English like us Americans? You boys are too bloody stupid to make the grade down in the States, and your last hope is the school system of the Great White North, eh? You want to get out of grade 12? You better start learning what the metric system's all about. I've got three words for you. Go to... <laughs> Sir! There'll be no more cuss words out of you, you potty mouth mall rat. You're gonna learn the dual languages of my home and native land, and you're gonna savor my poutine! Because you're in Canada now, eh? And that'd be a cut. Okay, boys, cut. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Oh, really? Was it too subtle for you? Subtle, no, but I do think the PM's gonna revoke your citizenship. Well, where am I gonna hide out for four more years of Bush in the States? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Isn't that why you're here, Musy? Oh, no, sir. That's why I'm here. Hey, how you doing? Craig, do not let this fool Mac on your broad just because he's been in a few movies, kid. A few bad movies? Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kevin. That was out loud, wasn't it? I'm so sorry. Oh. Come on, Musy. Let's go make out in the trailer. For real? For real. And I cast her in two movies as God. What are you doing here, sir? Shouldn't you be home writing me a tune? My fault. I dragged him away. She's, uh, she's abandoning me tomorrow. Oh, that's right. London calling. What are you going to do before you leave the UK? See a movie in Leicester Square. Very, very good. Make sure you write this dude tons of lovey-dovey postcards. I need him in that frame of mind so he can write me a power ballad. I got to go back to work. You, I suggest you do the same. Beat it. All right. Not like I'll have anything better to do all summer, right? Craig, please, you said. It's a joke. It's me. It's joking. It's great. It's, it's a great opportunity, and I'll be fine. Honest. Less than 24 hours from now, and I'm on a plane to England. Obviously, um, I love your country. I like it a lot. You don't invade other countries. You kind of hang back, try to go unnoticed, uh, so you don't get invaded, which is very sweet. Right. So, um, just for a sec, can yeah. we talk about the movie? The movie? Come on, man. Are you Regis and Kelly? I mean, since when does signing off from Planet Earth? I'm Caitlin Ryan. Want to talk about the movies? How do you know the sign off from my old show? Mm. No, actually. Why? Well, if you'd listened to me the other day, you'd know, because I'm creepy. I told you I was a big fan, see? I got a real thing for pretty girls who chain themselves to trees and say a boot. Uh, you are using real Degrassi kids as actors, yes? I do. We use real students from the school. We're shooting in the school, obviously. I and mean, I'm very interested in keeping it real. Uh, and so why set the film? You don't, you don't want to say the title, do you? Jay and Silent Bob go Canadian, eh? Right. Why make them go Canadian? Um, well, I don't know. If they, if they ever needed a reason, I would say that the, um, very alluring women of the true north would make any right-thinking man want to go Canadian, Miss Ryan. Yeah, I'm talking about it. And cut. That's lunch, everybody. <laughs> Liberty, you can buy bottles of those at the grocery store. Why buy them when they're here? Gratis. Yeah, you should have seen her yesterday with the mini corn. That was really gross. Dot's catering the shoot, OK? So until summer school starts, I'm here. And got Jay a job, too. So uh, what are you having? We have prime rib, chicken cordon bleu. Uh, I'd rather eat my own liver than accept food from you two scumbags. Manning, do I need to remind you that I'm holding a big, scary knife in my hand? Yeah? Watch your fingers. Did you take your pills last night? Don't ask me that. It's embarrassing. 
No, that was embarrassing. Sorry, I'm sorry. Jay, when I was born, Star Wars had already been out on video for 10 whole years. You're too old. You know there's laws to prevent it? I'm gonna marry Apollonia. She's the sugar in my maple, the cheese in my poutine, the back in my bacon. The ick and pathetic. <laughs> Cut. Very nice, Sally. Ick and pathetic. Manny, nice job. You? Thank you. Hair director wanted a real goth girl from 1988, I guess. He heard that, Marilyn Manson. I did, and it really hurt. I fought to cast you. Only trying to get Morris ear to crack a smile. Mm. Why? Ash is leaving England, where she's going to find some way cooler guy with an accent, fall madly in love, and never, ever come back. Ugh, the angst. Thank God I'm not a teenager anymore. It's not funny. That's right. It's it's, it's pathetic. What, sir? What uh, flirting with disaster over here is trying to say is just go already, man. I don't know what you're doing hanging around the hallways of Degrassi all summer anyway. Just find some summer music program with Coldplay or some excuse, dude. But just go hang out with your old lady in London. You know what could be better than that? Beats this. May I speak with you for a second? The teenage girl thing has to stop. It was funny the first time, now it's just sick. It's sick. But you have problems. I know. Stepmom alert. Minimize, minimize. You can't even get to porn in here. Simpson is online officer. What about uh, travel porn? Money shots of pigeons fouling Trafalgar Square? Big Ben in the rain? So you don't think me going to England's the worst idea since whatever my last idea was? I think a summer away would be great for you, actually. I'm trying to get the Canadian flag into every shot in the movie, because I'm a really big fan of the Canadian flag. So was Muse, until he figured out it was a maple leaf. Instead of the wacky. Uh, you got something more Hollywood, right? More, more dishy? Hey, Kevin is not exactly dishy. I mean, he's uh, more self-deprecating, funny. Funny's good, especially when it's coming from a bona fide celebrity. Let's use this opportunity, okay? Take local heroes to a new level. A lower level. That's right. We're talking the same language. Would you uh, call something up for me? We're on the three minute mark. If you look at it, more Democrats went to see Shrek 2 last year than voted in the election. So what's there to get excited about for a boot? That's going in. Don't worry about Tomas, I'll take the bullet. Hello, Caitlin Ryan. Yes, this is she. What? This guy buys an SUV yesterday, top of the line, 80 plus. He comes back today, buys one for the wife. Wow, amazing for you, not for global warming. I know, I know, as usual, you're my conscience. But honey, two SUVs. Um, I had a windfall today too, actually. Uh, a rep for a big, well, biggish uh, broadcaster in LA called. They want to revive Ryan's planet. Really? From up here? Down there. But, um, well, of course, I, I can't accept it. Leave my family. Your family, which includes a sexy little car magnate who loves you very much. What an honor being asked, huh? Yeah. Uh, so Craig's in the garage, and he has something he wants to talk to you about. As a favor, try to listen. Apparently, I'm supposed to be open 
as in my mind. Okay, there's this great music school. In Camden. It's part of London. I'd be earning a credit for next year. You want to go to England? It's just for the summer, and he's got education money in his trust fund. Yeah, Ashley's dad is there, and there are, like, teacher types in my dorm. Just say yes. Just give in already. Caitlin and I have thought of everything. Not six months ago, you were hospitalized, diagnosed bipolar. I'm okay now. I'm on my meds. I've been on them for months. Craig, no, I, I don't feel comfortable with you being thousands of miles away from me. What, what if something went wrong? Right. I mean, England probably wouldn't even let a psychopath like me in. Right? They already had one, Jack the Ripper, and mad cow disease. I'm not saying that, Craig. It... Listen, girl fiend, you and your so post pubescent, he makes the Backstreet Boys look relevant boyfriend can kiss my yoga toned ass. Listen, lady, there's some place that I won't even put my mouth. And that'd be a cut. Okay. Thank God. That will uh, bring us out of the scene, people. And Paige. Yes, Mr. Smith, did you love me? Did you really, really love me? Oh, love's not the word, hon. That's a wrap for you today. Thank you. You were very, uh, you were very. You guys are good. Really good. Let's do the next one. Oh, my God. Lady, you were just flat out haunting me. You hang out on my set any longer, I'm gonna have to give you some lines, put you in the movie. Yeah, she better not get more lines than me, sir. Don't worry, dude. The movie's not called Caitlin and Silent Bob. Oh, but that's the movie you want to make. Oh, I bet. X-rated version. <laughs> well, that was awkward. How are you? Great. Mm. I got a call last night from, um, L.A. <gasps> a call from L.A.? No, I don't believe it. So I just wanted to thank you for setting it up. No need to thank me. Well, I do, because um, I said no. Um, no, wait, no. You didn't, you can't say no. I have a family. I have my own show. I mean, I can't just take off to LA. Not for nothing, but you gotta go back to acting globally. Never mind all this local stuff, and it's just heartbreaking to see you sitting around cobbling together puff pieces about visiting degrade celebrities that's beneath you. D-grade celebrities? Yeah. Like you. Wait. I'm Lisa Seagrass, celebrity home. I, I have no process. I don't consider myself a, a filmmaker, really. I, I just a guy who gets to direct the stuff that he writes, uh, and... Sorry, Caitlin. I'm locking you out of the edit suite on this one. What? What, you're taking the Kevin Smith spot away from me? Yeah, I want celebrity gossip, all right? Even non-celebrity gossip. Hell, if this guy spent the whole segment talking about his gay dog, it'd be more enjoyable than this. I, I, I try not to overthink it. It's just a communication. But it's his me, process right? as a filmmaker. Yeah, and I'm not laughing, all right? I'm not hearing anything about Benefer. Every time I hand something into you, you rip it apart or you change it. And that's what it's all Why? About. Like Why? Just kind of you tell me, Caitlin. Right? This isn't Ryan's alone, world. Right? Ryan's planet. That or that. It's local heroes. I quit. <laughs> yeah, so it still needs lyrics, but what do you think? That's good. It's good. I got something for it. Ashley, please don't go. Please don't leave me. Don't fall in love with an ugly limey. Shut up. <laughs> okay, you can't you can't throw fries at a kid in a wheelchair. Great. Let's look at our seats. Greg, listen. I know you thought I was being offensive, but honestly, I wasn't trying to hurt you. Yeah, well, you did. I mean, why do I take the stupid pills? You don't believe I'm better. There are conditions, though. <laughs> I'm gonna be calling the school to disclose your illness. I want you to call me <sighs> every day, especially if something doesn't feel right. And I want Mr. Kerwin to keep an eye on you, too. Yeah, everything, anything. I can handle it, I can't. Really. Hey. What you got in here? 
every shoe I own. Hey. You know, I thought this whole goodbye thing was gonna be so hard, but I'm so glad you're here and <laughs> you surprised me. Parting so not sweet sorrow. I'm, uh, I'm coming. Tomorrow. But since it's a red eye, I'll be in London the day after that. You're just flying to London? That's what planes are for. You, you can't follow me to England. <laughs> Ash, come on. Look, why, why are you here doing this? Are you off your meds? No, I'm not off my meds. I'm here because I love you and I have plans. Yeah, so do I, Craig. And you said you're okay with them. You said it repeatedly, so what is this? This is me trying to figure out how we're gonna spend the summer together. You think I'm having an episode. I don't know what to think. Look, I need space. I, I need to get away. Uh, oh, okay. From you. Look, Craig, I love you. But ever since my dad's wedding, it's just been me worrying. Me watching for signs, watching what I say. Why won't you just believe me? I'm better now. I'm okay, I am. Email me, okay? I'll see you in September. He says it's local heroes, like like, it's actually a good title. It was the single worst title since Hope Floats. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because you think he would want me to add some substance to his crappy, unoriginal idea of a show. Like, if he was here right now, I would throw this drink with the ice cubes in his face. Listen to you, man, right on. This is the Caitlin Ryan I remember, the Caitlin Ryan from the DVDs, Ryan's Planet, that Caitlin Ryan. No, this is the Caitlin that produces fluff, like, Camping trips and high school blood drives and I need another drink. No, hon, you don't need another drink. You know, I need about 10 drinks to get to whatever plane you're on right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. So who's on Kevin's plane and you? Is that your very drunk, charming way of asking me if I'm involved with anybody, Miss Ryan? Because <laughs> No. No? I'm just actually asking if you're gay. Gay? What? <laughs> no, I'm not gay. Yeah. Is that what you think? Heavens, no. Just, why, do I come off as gay? Because I thought... No, I don't. <laughs> do I really? Right on. <laughs> Good to know. No, no, I'm, I'm very into chicks, actually. I like chicks quite a bit. So why aren't you married? Uh, well, um, I think I've just always been kind of waiting for that one woman uh, who I like to refer to as the Iris. Oh, my God. You're engaged to a woman named Iris, and I'm sitting here hitting on you? No, uh, no, calm down. It's, boy, you're drunk. Do you, do you know what it means to Iris in? <sighs> no, you wouldn't remember if you did. Um, it's a film term, and uh, it's like at the end of a Chaplin short. You ever see one of those? When Chaplin's walking away, the camera, and the image mm -hmm. is going into shrinking into a little circle, irising in. And I think that I've always kind of been waiting for that one woman that just, you know, makes me Iris and I'm sorry, did you say you were like hitting on me before? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was so awesome. Oh. What? Are you alright? I'm sorry. Are you, are you alright? I'm sorry. I didn't I are you okay? That was because I that was awesome for me. So are you Caitlin, wait, come uh, And here's a pitch. So? So. So you've been home for half an hour, you haven't said a word. I get it, you don't want to tell the dad all the private details. Even if that dad did pay for the plane ticket. Ashley was happy, right? Thrilled. <laughs> Blissed out, neither of us can wait till I get there. Good. Yeah. All this excitement got to sleep. All right, buddy, get some rest. We got a big day tomorrow. We got to get your luggage, money belt, some British pounds. Tally ho. Young love. And not quite so young love. Mm. 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 <laughs> I 
don't know what kind of love that was, but that was good. Marry me. Have you been drinking? Yes. No. Yeah, just marry me. I want to come home to you. I want to wake up with you. I want to focus all my attention on you. I thought you'd never ask. Yes. Hey, you ready? You got everything? Uh, your camera, passport, all my phone numbers, Ashley's dad's number. Yes, for the 400th time. Stop worrying. We're all grown up. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you. You know that? Yeah. Have a great trip. See you in September. Yeah. We're not going to the airport. It's been a change of plans. Okay. 